Hi, it's Roy again from here at Parkway Nissan. And today I've been asked to speak about the all-wheel drive systems in some of our cars and the user controls for those systems. We've had some questions uh, from customers and so today we're going to give you some answers. So if you have one of our new all-wheel drive Nissan Rogues or Pathfinders with the multi-selector that looks like this knob right here, you have five or in some cases even seven different modes that you can select. So the first one and the one that our customers will use the majority of the time is just the auto mode, which is right in the center, looks like a couple lanes of a highway. And if you have that mode selected, you're leaving it up to the car to decide what the appropriate mode is given the driving conditions at that time you have the ability to turn this and put it into eco mode, which looks like a couple of leafs. That basically changes the engine and transmission settings and the all wheel drive settings to focus completely on saving fuel. The car will do everything it can to save gas. In that mode, you will notice the car will feel sluggish because it's not focusing on power, it's focusing on fuel economy. Sport mode, the next one, which looks like a checkered flag, is the exact opposite. In that mode, the car is looking for power, aggression. It's forgetting about fuel economy. It's giving you engine revs. It's giving you immediate response. If I go to the other side of this dial, it's more to do with weather and road conditions. So I have a snow mode for this car. And what that does is, this car would normally turn it into a front wheel drive a lot of the time in order to try and save fuel. In snow mode, it will not do that. This car will be in four wheel drive all of the time to some extent. The next level over is off-road mode, which puts this car even further into a locked four-wheel drive mode. You've got equal power to all four wheels all the time um, to go over very extreme conditions, whether it's rocks or ditches or things like that. When the car is positioned in auto mode and the computer is making the decisions for you, it's basing those decisions on the driver inputs. So if I'm being aggressive on the gas pedal, if I step on it hard to merge onto a highway or to pass somebody, the car would go into sport mode on its own because it recognizes I want power, I want immediate response. But as soon as I back off and settle into some kind of cruising speed, whether it's on the highway or on a city street, and the car realizes I'm not asking for power anymore, it will go into eco by default in order to save fuel. That's kind of the way Nissan has set it up. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions about these systems or anything to do with one of these cars, please come and see us here at Parkway Nissan. Feel free to ask for me, Roy, I'd be glad to help you.